Her Majesty the Queen of that England has decided now to stop wearing fur. It's going to be faux fur from now on and only if it's a bit cold. I mean, I feel a bit of a hypocrite. I think that's fake fur. I hope it is. I know what animal it'll be. What about the people of Cardiff, down here in Cardiff Bay? What do people think? Faux or no faux? I personally wouldn't wear fake, fake fur or, or real fur. I think fake fur kind of gives the... Um, is, is like an implication that that real fur is okay. Uh, actually, I did discover a fur coat um, in someone's wardrobe the other day and I did try it on. Um, and I think uh, I had probably quite a lot of guilt after doing so. I wouldn't necessarily say to everyone that I did wear it maybe for about 10 minutes. Um, but I do think actually, let's face it, um, do we really, really need to wear fur and kill animals for our own vanity? Probably not. No. Why not? because I have small animals and I wouldn't want to wear them. <laughs> I've uh, never worn re real fur. I, I, I had a wonderful auntie who used to wear real fur. In fact, she had something that looked like, looked like a fox around her neck, though that was the fashion in, in, in those days. No, I, I think we, we must move away from all cruelty towards animals. I'm not going to hate anybody for wearing it. Well, no, would I hate anyone who had real fur on them right now? Probably I would. But somebody in the 60s, 50s, if I had a time machine, I wouldn't go after them because it's a different era. But right now, I think real fur is an absolute no-no. Yeah. Even those women who think, oh, well, it's vintage, it's been done already, you're honouring the animal by wearing the coat. I, I don't buy that theory. I think don't wear fur at all. In fact, try not to wear fake fur because it just is encouraging the idea that it's fashionable and attractive.